This is the new Asus ROG Flow Z13. It is one of the craziest device I've ever seen. Let's review. This gaming tablet from Asus has the new Intel CPU and the new NVIDIA GPUs. You can configure this model up to RTX 4060 from NVIDIA, which is insane. Having an RTX 4060, in a thin and light chassis like this. Before starting the video, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and ring the bell icon so you won't miss our next videos. Let's start with the body. This tablet has an aluminum alloy chassis. Um, it is uh, stiff and it is rugged. Um, I didn't have any problem with it and uh, you can see that the stand is so powerful and it's uh, strong enough to your force and you can easily put it in a bed mode for your drawing or something like this if you want to draw with this tablet. Also, you will get a, a Asus Pen version 2 uh, in the package, which is a, a, a special feature compared to uh, iPad and Surface devices uh, because they don't include it in the box, but Asus included it in the box and this is a nice add-on to the package. Port selection is decent for a tablet. Uh, you will get two type C ports, one of which is uh, placed in XG Mobile platform that you can use to upgrade it to NVIDIA RTX 1490, which is insane. And you will get one more USB type A on the right. Um, I saw some models with USB 2 on the right. Uh, I don't know why, but our model has USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports. Uh, which is nice and it means it can handle up to 5 gigabit per second files uh, which is good and enough I think uh, because no other tablets nowadays has a USB type A port. Also you can upgrade your SSD from the back and you can plug a micro SD card if you want uh, under the stand uh, there is a port that you can use to upgrade your memory with a micro SD card. Uh, the keyboard cover is a lot better than Surface devices. I can easily type with it and it has a laptop feel to it. I liked it and it has a single zoom RGB which is nice. Uh, but the trackpad is okay. It's not the Surface level but it's okay and you're gonna get used to it. It was fine for me. And after all of that I should talk about Easter eggs on this laptop. You will see a 06 number behind this. It's about establishment of Asus ROG brand. Asus ROG started its brand from 2006, uh, which is a nice easter egg. Also, uh, there is a coordinates on the back uh, above the RGB window to the PCB, uh, which is uh, Asus HQ in Taiwan, uh, which is nice and it's a beautiful and cool. Easter egg. In this section, I can give this laptop an easy 9 out of 10 score or even 10 out of 10 because there is nothing wrong with this body and chassis. I liked it. This tablet right here has a 13.5 inch display, which is nice. It has 2.5K resolution at 165 Hz with up to 500 nits which is nice 100 percent of srgb and 80 percent of adobe rgb uh, which is nice and it means you can edit your videos or photos in this screen easily or you can even play games easily with no problem at all also this screen supports pen and it's a touch screen which is nice it means you can easily um, scroll to your websites you can easily play your touch games. Why do you want to play touch games in Windows? I don't know. But it means you have a, a lot of abilities and a lot more functionality with this laptop that you will not get on other devices. In the screen part, I can easily get this laptop a 9 out of 10. I liked it and you will like it too. Performance is decent on this laptop. You will get a Core i9-3900H 14 core CPU from Intel, which is nice. And also this model right here has RTX 4050, 
which I think the most and the best suitable GPU for this model, for this laptop. Uh, there is other model with RTX 4060 with 8 gigabytes of VRAM, but I think that one is too much for this laptop. Uh, Asus used vapor chamber cooling on this laptop and you will see the performance and the power of this cooling in this laptop uh, which is nice and I didn't have any problem or any overheating even in some titles like Cyberpunk which is a AAA title and you won't get any trouble I think at least for 3 or 4 years with this laptop. This tablet with RTX 4050 easily beats other uh, 4050 laptops I've used like MSI Cyborg 15 that it had uh, RTX 4050 in low power but it had more power than this tablet um, I don't know why but it can perform well even better than some laptops in the market which is insane because it's a gaming tablet I ran some benchmarks on this laptop such as Cinebench R23, Geekbench 6, um, Crystal Disk Mark and Time Spy they worked all fine and I had almost 16,000 scores in Cinebench which is insane because it's one of the highest scores you can get with 3900H and I liked it, I really liked it and I can't say anything negative about the performance of this tablet. In games I could get around uh, 30 to 40 FPS or even some in some cases lower than in Cyberpunk but because of RTX 4050 you can easily enable frame generation and with frame generation you can easily play cyberpunk at ultra setting with nvidia dlss3 which is insane also i played some esport titles like valorant rainbow six siege and um, apex legends you can see the frame rates on the footage and it was a, such a good experience and it means this laptop can handle any game for you even esport titles easily in the performance part, I can give this laptop a 9 out of 10 easily with no doubt and I like it, I liked it. Speakers are good in this tablet, it's not the best, uh, I think iPad has better and louder speakers but it is fine and you will get a better sound quality if you want to edit videos or play some games when you don't have a headphone or your headset. It is fine and you won't get any trouble with it. Battery life on this tablet was the worst thing about it. I had almost uh, one and a half hour or two hours of battery life in heavy tasks and at best I could get around six hours or seven hours of battery life with battery saver on or something else. On other tablets like Surface Pro or iPad you can get around a day with iPad Air or iPad Pro you can get more than two or three days of battery life. But in this tablet, you can't get near of that. Which is a bummer. But Intel and Nvidia are too heavy for a tablet. Overall, I can give this tablet a 9 out of 10 score. I liked it. And if you can afford 800 bucks for this tablet, you should go for it and just buy it. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any question about this tablet, just comment down below. Bye.